Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Guy family. Today's video is gonna be a little bit more of a chatty one, more casual one. I've been wanting to do one of these tag videos for a while, and I don't know why I haven't done them before. I think maybe the reason why I haven't filmed a tag video like this before is I felt that there weren't enough people actually interested in what I had to say about this sort of thing. But now that I have a bit of a following, there are people actually really enjoying my content and are returning to my videos. I thought it'd be good to do a tag video like this. So the tag video that I'm going to be doing today is the makeup habits tag. I think the first person who originally did this video was Danielle Schmidt and I will leave her original video linked in the description box down below. But the person who actually gave me the idea of doing this video was actually Andrew Anthony. I will also leave her video of her makeup habits tag linked in the description box down below. But today it's my turn and we're just gonna get straight into it. I think there are a few questions in this makeup habits tag so let's get straight into it. I hope you guys don't mind me just like sitting on my bed chatting to you. It's probably the most comfortable spot in my flat right now and I just wanted to sit and chat with you guys so I hope you don't mind. The first question is how often do you wear a full face of makeup? Foundation, eyeshadow, contour, the works. So are you talking about what I have on today? Well, how often do I wear this? I would say probably once or twice a week. I do try and batch film once a week and I also go out sometimes for dinner with friends. Sometimes I have some events that need a full face of makeup. So probably it will average out to once or twice a week. I do wear makeup to work but it's basically just foundation, eyeliner, bronzer and a little bit of powder and some lipstick. But full face like this, highlight, full highlight, blush, mascara, eyeliner, probably it'll average out to about once or twice a week that I do this because I do try and film every single week. Question number two, is your everyday makeup look more neutral or more colorful? Well, if you watched any of my videos, you would know that I'm definitely more of a colorful eyeshadow look girl. My everyday look would probably consist of some really warm browns and maybe a little bit of glitter. I know that's not an everyday thing, glitter, but it's just so easy to apply. If I wanted to dress up my eyeshadow look for work, which is generally where you would wear an everyday makeup look, you know, something not too crazy, I'd probably just throw on a little bit of a warm brown in my crease, put on some eyeliner and apply some rose gold Stila Magnificent Metals glitter and I'm good to go and I'm out the door. So that would probably be more my quick everyday sort of makeup look if that makes any sense. No, I do not gravitate towards neutrals. My eyeshadow palettes that are plain neutral browns I don't really gravitate towards. If you watch any of my videos you'll know that I absolutely love the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes and the bright colorful eyeshadow palettes from Morphe as well. I like to be out there with my eyeshadow looks. I don't even do it as much as I used to, but I would really like to get back to doing bright colorful looks more often. Question number three, how long does it take you to do your go-to makeup look? Well, my go-to makeup look for work takes me about 10 minutes and my go-to glam look when I'm just slapping on a glam look when I have an event to go to, I don't want to think about what glam look I'm going for for the day. My go-to glam look is this. I will leave a picture up here of what my go-to glam look looks like. And that look will generally take me about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, more or less. Of course, it could take me longer if, you know, I just really took my time with it. But I could do that glam look in probably half an hour. I've actually done it in 15 minutes before. I don't know how I did it, but I did. It's possible. Question number four, do you apply your foundation before or after you've done your eyeshadow? I should ask you guys if you know the answer to this question. Pause the video, leave a comment down below if you know which one I do first. Do I do eyeshadow first or foundation first? If you watch any of my videos, you'll know exactly the answer to this question. Go on, I'll wait for you, go, go on. Okay, I do my eyeshadow first. Always, because I'm a very messy blender. And if there's any fallout at all whatsoever that falls on my face, I can always clean it up and then apply foundation afterwards without worrying or risking eyeshadow falling onto an already finished base. Because applying a base well always takes so much more care and time. So it's just easier to apply it after I have applied the eyeshadow on my eyelids. What are some bad makeup habits you have that you can't stop doing? Probably the first one that comes to mind is the fact that I don't throw my mascara out after it's been opened for a month. 
I know that's really bad. I use my mascara until it dries out and then I throw it out and that's probably like three months. I know that's really bad. But I mean, no one else uses it. It's just me and I haven't gotten an eye infection yet. That's probably the worst makeup habit that I have that I need to stop doing. Do you use beauty influencer techniques or your own techniques to apply your makeup? I don't think beauty influencers are the be all and end all of beauty techniques. Beauty influencers are doing beauty techniques that they got from another beauty influencer or from another makeup artist or from another celebrity makeup artist. Like, beauty influencers aren't the ones who created makeup techniques. Everyone has their own way of applying makeup. I have my own way of applying makeup. Sometimes a beauty influencer will talk about a new technique that they're trying out and I want to try something different so I try that out too. Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. But one beauty technique that I do do because of a beauty influencer is the way that I blend my lower lash line. I like to take my lower lash line out, down a little further than most people would because I do have a fair bit of creasing and eye bags under my eyes. I like to take my eyeshadow a little bit lower and smoke it out a whole lot more. This is Raw Beauty Christie's technique of blending out her lower lash line and it's because of her that I do my lower lash line like that but other than that technique I just apply my makeup how I apply my makeup it's not really influenced by beauty influencers like oh I apply my foundation like this because Jaclyn Hill does I just do what works for me really question number seven what is one step in your makeup routine that takes the longest to complete I would say eyeshadow. If I was gonna do a really proper eyeshadow look, then I really take my time with my eyeshadow. I like to build up the colors and blend out the colors, and I just feel it looks a whole lot better that way. The less time I spend on my eyeshadow, of course, the less good it's going to look for me, in my personal opinion. So I would say eyeshadow is what takes me the longest to apply. Question number eight A. What is one step in your makeup routine that you're okay with skipping? I'm okay with skipping mascara. It's not something I feel that I need to have on my eyes on an everyday basis. I feel like I look the same with I don't look the same with or without mascara, but I can do without mascara, if that makes any sense. If I'm just doing my everyday normal work makeup look, then I will skip mascara. Question number 8B, what is one step in your makeup routine you will never skip? Skincare. I will never ever ever skip skincare. I can skip concealer, I can skip bronzer, I can skip eyeliner or mascara, but I will never ever ever skip skincare. I will always apply my active serum and moisturizer over the top because skincare is just really important for me. I know it said makeup routine, but I feel like skincare is the very first step towards making your makeup look good anyway. So yeah, I don't skip skincare. Question number nine, what type of makeup looks are out of your comfort zone? I would say SFX makeup, the really out there intricate makeup looks that so many really talented artists come out with out there. It doesn't scare me from trying them because I would love to try them, but just drawing, shading, or light and dark, that sort of art really intimidates me. I would like to try more, but it's definitely out of my comfort zone. Rob Beauty Christie recently just did a video where she drew leaves around her face. It was like framing her entire face. And I was like, whoa, that is so cool. Like I would love to be able to just sit down and be inspired to do something like that. It's just, I don't really, because I don't have very many ideas. A lot of the artistic makeup looks that I do are inspired by someone else. So for me to come up with like an original art piece on my face, just like do it from scratch, it's more of a foreign thing to me. Question number 10, do you wear matte liquid lipstick, cream lipstick, gloss, or a mixture? I don't wear matte, I don't wear cream gloss. I like to wear the ColourPop Satin Lips. That's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's not a matte lipstick, but it's not a super slippery one either. I really like the ColourPop Satin Lip Formula. The other formula I really, really enjoy is my Holy Grail is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. They are matte lips, but they're more of a flexible sort of matte, not a crumbly, drying, sandpapery one. So while technically they are a matte, they don't feel like a matte matte lipstick to me. And that's the formula that I enjoy wearing the most. If you could only wear one shade of lipstick for the rest of your life, what would it be? I love the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Atlantic City. It is a bright, bright red, 
and I absolutely love it. I've gone through about eight tubes of that, but I don't know if I would wear that for the rest of my life. I'm thinking maybe something a little bit more neutral would be a little bit more suitable to wear for the rest of my life. But you know what? I'm just gonna go Atlantic City, a bright, vibrant red lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics because it's my favorite and I can wear it if I want to. <laughs> I have had a couple people tell me though that more neutral lipsticks look a lot nicer on me than bright vibrant ones. Like they say the bright vibrant ones still look good on me but they feel like the more skin tone neutral ones look good on me and I'm like oh I appreciate the feedback. I'll probably keep on wearing bright lipsticks but I'll definitely throw a neutral one in there every now and then. Question number 12, do you highlight and contour your face? Yes, I do, but not in the Instagram way. Like I'm wearing concealer, which also acts as highlight. I'm wearing a bit of bronzer, which also acts as my contour. I don't go in with a full on lines, jaw lines, contour on the nose, contour on the forehead, contour under the eyes and under the lips. I don't do that because that for me, I just feel that's unnecessary. The more I pile on, the worse it looks. So I feel like less is more sometimes. Today I'm just wearing a darker stick foundation as my contour, but it's not a really sharp contour if you know what I mean. I don't really like the sharp cut contour because my jawline here isn't suited to that type of contour here because you can just see my jawline isn't just like straight, it's more of a rounded jawline. So I feel like the sharp contour Instagram look doesn't really suit me. So yes, I do contour and highlight, but not in the Instagram sense of the word contour and highlight. Question number 13, what is the one step in your makeup routine that makes you feel the most complete? Definitely my lipstick. I couldn't do a makeup look and not wear lipstick or even a gloss. I feel like I have to have something on my lips because my lips are just so washed out otherwise. That's just how I feel. I probably look fine without lipstick to people, but that's just how I feel for me, the step in my makeup routine that I couldn't skip. I could skip eyeliner, I could skip mascara, I could skip bronzer, but I like to wear lipstick whenever I'm wearing makeup because for me that's just an essential, I guess. <laughs> okay, so there are only 13 questions in this makeup tag. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this chatty sort of video. And if you do, then I will definitely do more chatty sort of videos. I might do some story time, I might do more tag videos, and eventually I might even do a chit chat get ready with me video. I don't have a whole lot in my life at the moment to chit chat about that isn't depressing. So that's why I haven't done a chit chat get ready with me video yet. But in a few months time, just give me a little bit of time. I'm sure I'll come back to a point where I'm happy and I can chit chat to you guys a little bit more lightheartedly about my life and not get so deep and depressing about what's going on with my life at the moment um, so yeah that's it for this video I know this video is a little bit random and a little bit chatty but I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of video if you did please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I do put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday three times a week guys three times a week so turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of those future uploads again thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today enter my giveaway the details of that video are listed in the description box down below that giveaway is still open be sure to check it out I'm giving away three James Charles eyeshadow palettes so you want to get to get in on that action Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! That sort of thing sort of in that sort of that sort of drawing do a chit chat get ready me but but in a few months time I sure I'll but in a few months time just give me some time I sure